Well, this is actually one of the first photos that he showed to me in the series. It's interesting because you look at the history of what's happened here, and someone's built a shed and then removed it, and then has revealed this like pattern work, uh, which is quite intriguing. And obviously, Galen probably was intrigued by this like pattern, and it sort of sparked a sense of humor. It's like archaeological. The pattern is revealed by the removal of the shed instead of like the addition of the pattern. The work that he was doing uh, that's up now is really about slow looking. Um, it's about the environment that we've built. Some of his subjects seem to be a little bit about the, the intention of the person who is doing either a renovation or doing some decorating or some improving or the lack of intention like I know he was really interested in, in the idea of reality as something that's constructed as opposed to something that's fixed uh, it's, it, it's formally impeccable with two different kinds of tar paper um, the green washed plywood um, turns something very uh, very ordinary into something very special that you can look at over and over again It's really fun to see like what Toronto's aesthetic is. I know that he wasn't really Galen wasn't specifically interested in in this place other than being here and trying to see it for what it was. Uh, like not not elevating it by looking at it, but um, but the fact that when you look, you find places that have carpeted driveways. Until the day he died, um, he didn't show up for work. He was always prompt, and his girlfriend called to say that he had been killed in a tragic bicycle accident. It was his thirtieth birthday. Um, he was a wonderful young man, very intelligent, and um, extremely thoughtful, with an incredible gift for for friendship.